Hi, I'm Andrew Bissell. I'm CEO of Sunamp. There we were in 2006. We, we, we knew where we wanted to get to, this super compact thermal energy store that could deliver hot water um, and, and, and align with the support of heat pumps. And, and one of the inspirations was, was this little hand warmer. You're going to see how this changes phase and in changing phase releases heat. So that's got hot in my hand. And, and that, that was quite an inspiration. There's a lot of heat stored in that, far more than you would have in a, in a hot water packet of the same size. We, we looked back into the history of, of the world of, uh, of applying materials like this. This is sodium acetate trihydrate, for those that are interested in the science. It's a salt hydrate or a, or a phase change material. It turns out that an awful lot of very, very uh, dedicated people had spent an awful lot of time in some very big organizations working very hard on this problem. But actually they'd all failed. They'd all, they'd all come up you know, with essentially the materials wouldn't work, they wouldn't cycle forever, or the heat batteries couldn't do the job in terms of delivering the kind of services that you wanted from it. For example, high flow rate hot water to run showers and baths. And we arrived and, and we started doing some work and uh, you know it was, it was going pretty well. Um, but what we found was we found that the materials were fading. They, 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 were, they were changing as we used them. They were changing from you know, a nice homogeneous material into something that would break apart into two or three components. And um, what that meant was that we knew we needed a, an academic partner. One, one that would help us to understand what was going on and fix it. Um, and we went looking, um, we worked with Interface uh, in Scotland and they went out to all of the academic community and they came back and they said, well, there's this person at the University of Edinburgh, a professor, uh, Professor Colin Pullum, um, he's working in um, crystallization do you think crystallization could be relevant? And you know, there was like that light bulb moment. We went, well, when we when we click the disc on this, it crystallizes. So yeah, probably there's a there's a relevant uh, skill there, a relevant um, area of interest. And we started working together um, very rapidly. Um, very rapidly, we got a, a joint PhD student, um, and, and today, uh, as, as now Dr. David Oliver, he's now the head of materials at Sunamp. Um, and, and within about a year and a half, he actually cracked the, this challenging problem that existed since the 1940s of how do we make a stable version of these salt hydrate materials. One that will cycle thousands of times. Um, and that was really absolutely critical. You know, without that, without that initial breakthrough, which I think would have been impossible for us to even think about how we would do on our own, uh, needed that relationship with the University of Edinburgh. Based on that, we were able to go into the next step, which was you know, validate that that performance will be maintained over the long term. We didn't want something that would fail after two years or fail after 100 cycles, as in fact, this hand warmer would. We, we knew we had a new chemistry, that new chemistry, a new material, would probably last a lot longer, but we wanted to prove that. Um, and we actually worked with the Diamond Light Source, this um, football stadium sized synchrotron. We were able to, therefore, by using these very high intensity x rays that the, uh, the Diamond Light Source can produce, we were able to probe deep into the heart of, uh, of the material and understand that where a normal material would fade after 100 cycles or something, the, 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 the degradation mechanism that's present there, you could see very clearly with those high intensity X-rays, with that X-ray crystallography. We could see as well that in the new formulation that, that David had, had come up with, um, that we would see no such degradation products. And therefore we could predict that we had a very long-lived material. Of course, you know, the world likes to see further proof, 
And so we also did cycle testing and that proved that we could have almost no degradation over 40,000 cycles. What does 40,000 cycles mean? It means effectively about 55 years of use in a two cycles per day application. And a two cycles per day application would be typically showers in the morning, baths in the evening, or if you're using it for space heating, morning and evening heating duty. So you've got the potential here now to build an extremely long-lived product. And so we did. We took it out commercially. Uh, we could see that there was really a, a great market. And to date, we have sold over 25,000 heat batteries. So you know, we've gone from that moment of the idea, the, the need, um, to genuinely being in the very early stages of fundamentally changing the way in which the world stores heat to be able to leverage renewable energy from the grid, renewable energy from heat pumps, renewable energy from PV uh, and from solar and use that to provide those thermal services, space heating and hot water and in due course also space cooling. Um, along the way we've actually been, and I'm very proud of this, we've been awarded some very significant awards. The Royal Society of Chemistry Industry Academia Prize uh, which was awarded to the University of Edinburgh and Sanam. And also uh, this year we were awarded the King's Award for Enterprise, uh, which is you know, just extremely great to, to have this recognition that the company's done something particularly special in terms of innovation, which is very compact thermal storage.